everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. This trip is truly unique in the sense that we're going to do 40 and see all the trucks across I-40 all the way from California going out to Tennessee. It's going to be quite an adventure. Stay tuned. Did you ever go to a fast food restaurant and after they give you your soda you go to get a lid and the lids are kind of spread out all over the counter and you uh, take your hands and you pick through the lid that you want and you put it on your coke and you just know that everybody else who's gone and got a soda they've done the same thing well Del Taco in Barstow, California, they do kind of something interesting, and I try to bring you things that I haven't seen before. It's no big deal, but here's how the Del Taco in Barstow, California, handles lids for your soda. If you'll notice, uh, they just have a machine that one lid at a time pops out, and you don't have to touch everybody's fingers because you know where little kids' fingers go and you don't want to deal with all that. So it's kind of a cool little invention they have here. Let's continue on our trip on to Tennessee. We've made it to the Loves here in Lake Havasu, Arizona, where they're adding on to their garage. They're making it so they're going to be having a lot more parts. A lot more stuff where we can bring our trucks in to get it fixed so that's kind of good news for us here in Arizona in California and the West in general the only thing that's bad about it is it's taken more of our parking away so if you look at it on a parking way uh, it's not too good all right well we've made it to Grants New Mexico at 600 miles from where we were this morning in Barstow, California. We made excellent time even though we had a little rain, not much. Temperature here is 47, 47 degrees.
the last time I was here, the Red Hot Chili Peppers were on tour. And the upstaging trucks, which hauls most of the tours around, took up that whole section you see right there to the left. They had like six trucks. With all the gear in it for the show. But this time of year, there's not too many shows out there touring. <sighs> yeah, nice, easy pull through is always good to see. All right, we're on our way out of uh, Little Rock. Got something to drink here. On our trip into Tennessee. We do carry the We'll fix your flat and just there. We are located on exit 161 Galloway. We are on the east side of Service Road. Take your channel 22. That's 22 for the car shop. And we currently have no waiting. Wow, he was courteous. Woohoo, there's hope. When it rains here in Memphis, I mean in uh, Little Rock, a lot of this parking lot gets flooded. I mean, they got some big lakes. I'd like to know if any of you guys use the reserved parking that TA and Petro offer now. I've used it once or twice in Florida when I needed my truck work done I needed to reserve a spot so that after I got my truck worked on I'd have a place to park so it came in handy then Come on, Stevens. Go, go. If you like trucks, which most of you do, I assume that's why you're watching this. Maybe you're from another country. I have some friends from Germany that watch my films, but if you if you like them and you want to see a lot of them, definitely come to Little Rock and drive between Little Rock and Memphis. Definitely see a lot of trucks. But then if you watch my videos, in my films, then you don't need to come here because you can just watch them. You can just watch on YouTube.
kind of a pull to get around this pam. There isn't one. The cars just keep coming. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What is he doing now? Oh boy. all the time in trucking and I'm sure four-wheelers talk about it too and that's one slow truck passing another slow truck and we are in that scenario right now you have one slow truck and that's me I'm slow today on purpose but the truck behind me which is a uh, a uh, creep carrier they can only do I think like 62 or 63 so he's trying to pass me but he's blocking all of the people behind him who are wondering why is this slow truck out here and they're getting really upset with him because he's out there trying to pass me. And the scenario would usually be a Stevens in this position, or a Schneider, or a Warner, or even a Creek Carrier that would be in this position, and the other slow company trying to pass. Which, it mostly makes the other truckers mad, but four-wheelers too. In fact, I have friends who have emailed me about the scenario. They don't understand. They think that guy is just trying to screw them. But he's trying to pass the slow guy. Come on, please. Pass the forward. See, now that, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna prolong this. I'm gonna go ahead and take off so that we don't have a big huge mess. 40 is not a place where you should do this. See now I have a 70 mile an hour truck but I drive slower to to save fuel. Now you'll see all those cars are passing him on the right and he's stranded out there. But I'm glad we got to see that scenario. So if you're a four-wheeler and you want, you don't understand why that's going on when you're the guy behind that truck, that's why. We made it into Memphis. That guy's an idiot. Everything is uh, idle air. 
Well, so let's go to Flying J. I don't, I don't like to park at idle air. It's not that I don't like to, I'm just not part of it. And those idle air boots take up a lot of space. about Memphis that I don't like is sometimes you're interrupted all night by the stupid idiot lot lizards and I wish that there was a way to stop that but trucks have embedded into the pavement here are almost, I'm going to say, five inches deep. I can almost let go of the steering wheel and it would steer itself. wants to do a regen. Why is there a camper here? What do they want to do? You can arrive at your destination on the right side. Oh, just cut through. that evening sigh. The sigh of, oh boy, I can't wait to stop. <laughs> actually some about parking here is being able to get out in the morning. It won't be a problem though. Uh, we'll make it work by golly. Well I had a great day of uh, traveling and uh, except for on 40 they have a bunch of construction 
it takes about an extra hour and a half between uh, Little Rock and Memphis but great day made good time did 536 miles which here in the east I usually do more than that but with that construction it knocked off a good hour so uh, I think I'm gonna go get some pizza here at the uh, Flying J see you in the morning no. I do that with coffee. Alright. 277. You need to Thank you. Thank you. Alright, Alright, it's uh, quarter to six. We're leaving out of Memphis. Man, I had a good night's sleep. I know I always say that, but that's the truth. I always sleep good. <laughs> I sleep good when it's nice and cool. It's 26 degrees, so that's pretty cool. Leaving out of Memphis sounds like a song. I got a couple friends that write songs for me, so there's a suggestion for you guys. Leaving out of Memphis. Round 6 a.m. My heater is a blasting. And I can't think the rest of the song. <laughs> a lot of times I'll write the words and then my friends put the music to it. it makes for a good combination of uh, songwriting. One thing I notice here in Memphis, the workers, they don't like their jobs. Those, all those clerks in the Flying J and the subway were nasty. The Flying J and the pilot and the subway, they all hated their jobs. I, if I don't like my job, I quit. I, Move on. I don't. I don't uh, stay in the job that I don't like. That's why I picked trucking because I, it's not a job. It's something I enjoy doing. That's not good. Really thankful. 
thankful for. You know, it's it's funny that with the internet, you meet a whole range of people where you wouldn't have been able to meet that many people before the internet. And I know it's a different kind of friend. To me, uh, they're just an acquaintance to you sit down and have coffee with them or something. And I'm not talking about dating. That's a whole other thing, too, that that's how people are meeting each other these days is all on the internet. That's how families are started. Uh, I know half a dozen people that have met their spouse right on their computer. It's amazing. But just over Facebook and internet in general, you just, that's how you meet people these days. And for those of you who are uh, my friends from overseas, Loretta Lynn, if you don't know who she is, she's a country western singer. Very famous here, probably there too, but I'm surprised of the things that we have here that you guys have never heard of there. <laughs> I was talking to a friend in Europe, and he had never heard of a Walmart. <laughs> I guess they don't have Walmarts in Europe. So... They made a movie about her back in the, uh, well, they shot it in 1979. It came out in 80. And I had a friend then, I still have a friend named Randy, and he and I worked at Universal at the time. And we got a hold of that tape of Coal Miner's Daughter. And that's all we listened to for a whole summer. I was born a coal miner's daughter. here for a few minutes or just run in there. That's ah, another one of those stupid ones. That have idle air and so there is no convenient places. Gotta put myself on line one. I have no idea how this happened, but my mirror came loose, so. I'm going to see if I can't uh, tighten up some screws on it. I go through about one of these mirrors every year and they, it just gets shaken off. And I don't know if it's a Volvo thing or what, but these mirrors suck. All right. All right, got my mirror fixed. Once I have to tighten those screws like that, the mirror lasts about another couple weeks. And I have a feeling I know why. I have a shock, that steer shock that's going out and so that is a lot of Bumping and thumping going on over there.
But hey, that's not true because I've had this truck since 2008 and I go through those front mirrors about once every six months, even when it was new. So it's not that shock. I know all you truck experts or Volvo experts, like my friend Mino, he'll, he'll tell me what it is. The one, my friend in Sacramento, he knows everything about my Volvo. And he always sent me messages about what's wrong with my truck, just from these videos. I've never met him, but he knows my truck as good as he knows his truck. All right, anyway, I have another one of those mirrors in my side box if I need to put it on there. You know what? Some of you who watch my uh, films close enough remember the corn video where the mirror was falling off? That's, that's what I'm talking about. But, yeah, it's, it's a shaking. I still get email about that video because the mirror was falling off and I still get messages from you guys that say what in the world is happening to your mirror? Well, see you guys are going through all this with me. lights and he's not coming after me so I guess I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs>
Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. This trip is truly unique in the sense that we're going to do 40 and see all the trucks across I-40 all the way from California going out to Tennessee. It's going to be quite an adventure. Stay tuned. Hey, did you ever go to a fast food restaurant? And after they give you your soda, you go to get a lid and the lids are kind of spread out all over the counter and you uh, take your hands and you pick through the lid that you want and you put it on your Coke and you just know that everybody else who's gone and got a soda, they've done the same thing. Well, Del Taco in Barstow, California, they do kind of something interesting and I try to bring you things that I haven't seen before. It's no big deal, but here's how the Del Taco in Barstow, California handles lids for your soda. If you'll notice, uh, they just have a machine that one lid at a time pops out and you don't have to touch everybody's fingers because you know where little kids' fingers go and you don't want to deal with all that. So it's kind of a cool little invention they have here. Let's continue on our trip on to Tennessee. We've made it to the loves here in Lake Havasu, Arizona, and where they're adding on to their garage. They're making it so they're going to be having a lot more parts, a lot more stuff where we can bring our trucks in to get it fixed. So that's kind of good news for us here in Arizona, California, and the West in general. The only thing that's bad about it is it's taken more of our parking away. So if you look at it on a parking way, uh, it's not too good. All right, well, we've made it to Grants, New Mexico. That's 600 miles from where we were this morning in Barstow, California. Another very familiar site. The last time I was here, the Red Hot Chili Peppers were on tour, and the upstaging trucks, which hauls most of the tours around, took up that whole section you see right there to the left. They had like six trucks with all the gear in it for the show. But this time of year, there's not too many shows out there touring. <sighs> yeah, nice easy pull through is always good to see. Arkansas. All right, we're on our way out of uh, Little Rock. Got something to drink here. On our trip into Tennessee. But then if you watch my videos and my films, then you don't need to come here because you can just watch them. You can just watch on YouTube.
get around this pam, there isn't one. The cars just keep coming. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What is he doing now? Oh boy. Temperature here is 47, exit 79. 47 degrees. here. Take the entrance to the left on I-40 East. Just for something to drink. And tonight we'll be making it to uh, Memphis. We did carry the land use tires. We'll fix your flat and lunch is there. We are located up exit 164 Galloway. We are on the east side service road. Taking a channel 22. That's 22 for the tire shop. And we currently have no waiting. Wow, he was courteous. Woohoo, there's hope. When it rains here in Memphis, I mean in uh, Little Rock, a lot of this parking lot gets flooded. I mean, they got some big lakes. I'd like to know if any of you guys use the reserved parking that TA and Petro offer now. I've used it once or twice. In Florida, when I needed my truck work done, I needed to reserve a spot so that after I got my truck worked on, I'd have a place to park. So it came in handy then. Come on, Stevens. Go, go.
If you like trucks, which most of you do, I assume that's why you're watching this. Maybe you're from another country. I have some friends from Germany that watch my films, but if you if you like them and you want to see a lot of them, definitely come to Little Rock and drive between Little Rock and Memphis. Definitely see a lot of trucks.